guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Uh, today I will be creating this makeup look. So if you'd like to see it, stick around. So the first product that I'm using today is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Smoothing Primer. I just like to put this all over my face and neck. For my foundation today, I used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade Y245. I just like to put this on the back of my hand and then spread it all over my face and rub it in using a Sports Girl little brush. And then for my contour today, I'm using the BH Cosmetics 128 brush and the Models Prefer Contour Collection Ultimate Highlighting and Contouring Palette. I just like to dot this along my cheekbones and then just buff it out using the brush. Um, I love this palette because it has lots of different shades. So if you've got, you know, doing your friend's makeup and they got a different skin tone to you, use a different shade. And then just on top of that, I'm going in with my Hula uh, Benefit Bronzer, just along my cheekbones, on my hairline, and down the side of my nose as well. Um, and then now I'm gonna go in and set my face with the Australis Ready, Set, Go Finishing Powder. I'm just using a Nude by Nature fluffy brush to do that. And just dab it in the product. I got way too much on the brush. Um, yeah, you really only need a small amount of this stuff, but I'm still getting used to setting my face. I never used to do it, so yeah. As you can see, there's a lot of excess product coming off my face. Um, but yep, just going all over and set all of that down. And then now for my highlight, I'm using the Becca Liquid Highlighter in the shade Opal. Uh, I love this highlight. It's really easy to use and it's a really beautiful colour. Um, I just like to use my fingers just to dab that into my skin so you can really feel where your cheekbone is to make sure you're getting it in the right spot. Um, I like to even use this highlight when I'm not wearing foundation just to give my skin an extra glow. It's really nice. It stays on all day too. Really lovely. And now for the eyes, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. Just going all over my lid using an Urban Decay brush with a nude shade and then just going into my crease using the coral sort of shade that's above that one. I don't know any of the names because they're all in French or something. <laughs> and now going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Subculture Palette with the shade Roxy. I'm using the Sigma Medium Angled Shading in E70. And then just going in and buffing that out again with the Urban Decay brush. And now going in with the shade New Wave using the Sigma Smudge E21. Just going along my eye line, um, just from the middle to outer side of my eyes, and then on the other side as well, and then buffing that out just to make it sure it all blends. Just added a little bit more product as well, just to really make the color pop. Now I'm just going in again with that same Sigma small brush under my eyes. Now I'm just going to spray the Urban Decay brush with some setting spray. This one's the Rainforest of the Sea Setting Mist. And now I'm going in with the colour Electric. Just going in on the inner to mid bit of my lids with that um, and just sort of blending it in just to add some shine. Now going into the shade Adorn, I'm just going to go in with that same brush um, just for the inner to mid of my lower lash line. 
Now going in with the Fenty Beauty Highlight Duo. Um, this is the Killer What one. I'm going in with the shade Fire Crystal. Okay, so my camera decided to die on me and I didn't realize. So, in the meantime, I've filled in my eyebrows, put on mascara and lipstick. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade 3. Mascara, I use the They're Real by Benefit, the black one. Lipstick, I use the BH Cosmetics Nude Lips Lipstick Palette. I use two different shades from this one. I use just one of the mid nude and a more pinky nude as well. So thanks for sticking around. So sorry that it's a bit choppy, but what can you do? Um, hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time.